Okay, hey everyone. I just wanted to go over the um, CP map for you. So what I'm going to do first of all is I'm just going to go ahead and go over um, the information about the map. So the first thing that you're going to see is you're going to see uh, the notes for all the units. You're going to see we did a little bit of a change here where we have the green is the in class so if you see labs if you see things of that nature will be green the blue is going to be blended learning yellow is going to be virtual purple is going to be stem or higher level thinking and the orange is going to be the article analysis so if you look on the next sheet next page you will actually see uh, the semesters our weeks go as five days. I understand there might not be five days of that week, but we are doing it in a series of five. You will have uh, your, um, your fall semester and then of course your spring semester. After that, you will see your table of contents. In your table of contents, it will give you the uh, title of the unit and then it'll also tell you the dates that we're going to do. As the rest, like the other curriculum apps, you can come in here and click on this and it will take you uh, where you want to go, uh, kind of like a shortcut. And if you go to the, to the next slides, you're going to see um, just basically the indicators. And here we're going to look at week one. So what we have here is we have required investigations. Most of these required investigations over here have to do with um, things that you need to do. We have reading assignments. And then the first thing that you'll see in your advanced prep is the answers to the reading assignments. And then all of these are options that you can choose. So you can do a virtual or you can do, um, if, you're, if you're doing it at home, you might want to choose yellow. If you're going to be in a classroom, the green ones would be there. Uh, you can pretty much pick and choose which ones that you would like to do. And we have them set up pretty much the same every week. Um, it's The only thing that you'll see is just a little bit of a color change. Everything here has a link. And what it does, it will take you to the resource folder. And in the resource folder is where... Um, I have put in everything where you won't have to sign in um, to the textbook at all. So you should be able to get everything that you need to have. The next thing that I would like to go and take you to is I would like to take you to the textbook itself. So on here, I'm going to go to McCraw Hill. <clears throat> and here you will, you will see where you have to sign in. And then after you sign in, you also have this menu option. So on this menu option is where you can go in and you can plan, you can actually schedule assessments. Um, that's where you, I've have all, you got all your answer keys at. Also on here, class management. Uh, that's where you would go in and you would create an assignment if you would like. You would also see an assignment tracker that's just basically saying, all right, I'm going to make an assignment and I'm going to say when it starts and when it ends. Then you have a calendar. The calendar is where you can put information in so you can look at it. And then you have your assessments. Um, like I said before, you have two sets of assessments and most of them are already there. So you don't have to worry about that. And this is pretty much what this looks like now. A lot of times you'll come here. This is your teacher work center. So the thing I want to make sure that you understand is here you have a pull down menu. So if you want to go to chapter one and say you want to go to section one and you want to look at all the information that you could possibly have, it is over here. Okay. And so you would scroll over. It would tell you this is your vocabulary. This is a watch. This is a check. And this here is a resource. And you have a calendar that's down here also that you can actually see what you're doing there. And then also, if you wanted to go to the ebook, you would just have to push the ebook here. And it would take you to the book itself. 
and then you can go uh, other places that you would like to go as far as the textbook goes. The other thing that I would like to um, explain to you is that most of the time what I did uh, with mine is I created in my Google Classroom sorry in my Google Classroom I would set my assignments up so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to my physics CP class uh, from last semester and I'm just gonna show you really quick so what I did most every day is uh, especially when we went into e-learning I went in here and I created an assignment so I'm going to show you my uh, lesson plan temp template and what I did is I made a video a YouTube video for every section so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take you really really quick into just one video um, and, and just basically kind of show you kind of what it looks like you will see you will have some links on yours um, and you can actually see what I have done so in here what I've done is I've used a webcam and every lesson I would have done have sorry and so what I did here is I actually did um, where I've had my students read and what they did is they actually took notes on the important information and then what I did after we go through that so let's see if we can get to the point where I want to show you not only and I went through and this is how I taught them so they would know exactly um, what the important facts were but then as you can see over here I would do the practice problems with them and I also would show them how to do the math so I'm gonna try to get to where we get a practice problem and what I did is I just basically wrote everything out and I showed them how to do those practice problems with the calculator um, and this seemed to help out a lot you will also see on the curriculum map get back to it you're gonna see some of those um, a lot of times you will see them in yellow like I said I, we were not on virtual until like toward the end of the of the year so um, you will see them on here see if I can find them really quick And they're going to be in yellow and I don't think they're I don't think I can find them right now but you will see and it will say like a video um, and things of that nature so if you the uh, last thing that I want to talk about is I want to talk about um, these little boxes right here so these little boxes right here this right here will automatically take you back to the index and this right here is where you can make a comment maybe something didn't work or you had a problem with it then you could do that and then the last thing I want to do is I want to share with you my email address my email address is msloan at oricountyschools.net if you have any questions on how the curriculum works or how it is set up please uh, don't hesitate to ask me I hope you have a great year